In this video, we're going to look at the gas cyclone separator. We will look at all of its main design features, how it works, advantages and disadvantages, and some of its common applications. By the end of this video, you will have all the information you need to design, maintain, and even build your own cyclone separator. What's in a name? The first thing to realize is that a cyclone separator has several colloquial names. These names include dust separator, dust collector, dust extractor, and cyclone extractor. Generally, smaller units are referred to as dust separators or extractors, whilst large scale industrial separators are referred to as cyclone separators. For this reason, we'll be using the term cyclone separator throughout this video. Basics. So let's talk about the basics. There are two main designs of cyclone separator. These are the gas cyclone and hydrocyclone. Gas cyclones are used to remove and drain particles from a gas stream. Hydrocyclones are used for separating fluids of different densities. Cyclone separators can be installed as single units or in multiples, known as multi-cyclones. Separators can be installed with a horizontal or vertical orientation. It is also possible to install cyclones in series or in parallel. Gas cyclone separators. Gas cyclone separators are grouped into two main categories, reverse flow and axle flow. Reverse flow cyclone separators are cone shaped. Gas enters the top of the separator body, flows downwards, then flows back upwards and is discharged. For axle flow cyclone separators, gas enters at one end and is discharged at the opposite end. The axle flow design is not as common as the reverse flow design. So before we start looking at the components of the cyclone separator and how it works, let's look at two of the most important aspects of a cyclone separator. These are the efficiency rating or efficiency and cut point. Efficiency. This video lesson will focus on the reverse flow gas cyclone separator because this type of separator is the most common in use today. We will refer to the term collection efficiency or simply efficiency throughout the video. The collection efficiency, also known as the capture or recovery rate, is a measurement of the cyclone's ability to separate particles from the flowing gas stream. Because particles have different sizes, the efficiency rating is usually given for varying particle sizes. The efficiency rating is one of the most important properties of a cyclone separator. Cut point. The volumetric flow rate and geometry of the cyclone separator define the cut point. The cut point is the point at which particles are removed from the gas stream at 50% efficiency. This measurement is an industry standard measurement and can usually be obtained from the original equipment manufacturer. Components and design. A reverse flow cyclone separator is an industrial assembly with no moving parts and a simple design. The main cylindrical part of the cyclone separator is known as the body or barrel. The gradually narrowing conical section is known as the cone. Untreated gas enters tangentially through the inlet at the side of the separator. Entrained particles within the gas stream are separated from the gas stream and discharged through the reject port at the base of the separator. Clean gas exits through the accept port at the top of the separator. If you like this video and would like to see more engineering related tutorials, then check out some of the links in the video description area and if you click on these links, you'll get a special discount price for all of our engineering video courses. If you want to support the channel, then please do like this video or share it on social media. It really does help us out. You can also leave a comment in the comments section. And if you've got any questions, then please just ask and I will try to respond to you within 48 hours. Thanks very much for your time.